So let's run it and see if we were successful. I probably just need to set my simulation model time units to seconds. In my simulation run, I would like to only run it for three hours. So I'm going to use the calendar to actually say the start time is, let's say, seven in the morning, and it should run at a specified time three hours later. In terms of the randomness I want to set the fixed seed. I'm changing this to just some value. Let's say 2014-08-26 and I want this to be my first run so I'm just going to call it 001. That is a large enough integer number for me to work with and it should be sufficient if I want to run multiple ones. But for reproducibility purposes I want to set the random seed. Ah, it is too large so we probably have to take out one value there. Let me just pause this for a second. The red frame indicates that the conveyor is currently in operational state and inside operational it currently is stationary. We've got all our variable values here. The conveyor speed is currently 0. The maximum conveyor speed is set to 10. There are nobody approaching the conveyor. The parameter timer is set to 30. The variable timer is currently set to 2 and it is about 434 model units before we'll actually experience a breakdown. If you want to, you can switch off the visibility of these events as they can be a bit problematic. So we're just going to wait until the first person arrives and here we see that the first person has um, has arrived but the maximum conveyor speed is Im uh, the variable conveyor speed is already 10 which is not what I want let me just go and check what happens with accelerate sorry that should not be 0 0.1 seconds but one second and decelerate also every one second I want that to actually happen a little bit slower As soon as the first person starts arriving, I see that my internal state changes to accelerating. I see one person approaching the conveyor. That is how the conveyor knew that it should start up. And currently the conveyor speed is still at zero. If I keep on running the model, you'll actually see that it actually starts picking up speed. And I can see that below in terms of the conveyor moving as well. I can still speed it up a little bit to see how people are actually approaching. Now there are two people approaching. My model, my conveyor is still in an operational state and these people will make their way across the conveyor. Even though people are getting off, my conveyor is not decelerating because it still picks up that people are approaching. And you can see that the timer value stays zero 
while people are actually close by. And you can check that the timer from time to time starts adding up. But usually before it actually starts decelerating, people are um, approaching again and it goes back into acceleration mode. If I now want to check that it actually decelerates if people aren't arriving. I'm going to limit the number of arrivals to 100 people just to show what happens. Speed up my model and watch as soon as 100 people have actually arrived into the model. And there is my 100th person. Going to speed it down a bit. And now I can actually see that my timer is starting to count. I don't expect any more people to actually arrive. And it should now start counting to 30, at which point I should see the conveyor speed going down as it decelerates. And there you go. You can play around.